Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, November 24th. Thank you for joining. Let's begin with prayer. Father God, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this opportunity to learn more about you, to learn more about your word, to learn more about how to apply your word into our lives. We thank you, Father God, for this opportunity to get together to pray, to give thanks, and to praise your name. We love you, Father God, and we pray all of this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. We are in Job 30, 16 through 31, with titles such as Seeking in the Dark, When God Feels Silent, and Trouble in Every Possible Way. And now my life ebbs away, days of suffering grip me, night pierces my bones, my gnawing pains never rest. In his great power, God becomes like clothing to me. He binds me like the neck of my garment. He throws me into the mud, and I am reduced to dust and ashes. I cry out to you, God, but you do not answer. I stand up, but you merely look at me. You turn on me ruthlessly. With the might of your hand, you attack me. You snatch me up and drive me before the wind. You toss me about in the storm. I know you will bring me down to death, to the place appointed for all the living. Surely no one lays a hand on a broken man when he cries for help in his distress. Have I not wept for those in trouble? Has not my soul grieved for the poor? Yet when I hoped for good, evil came. When I looked for light, then came darkness. The churning inside me never stops. Days of suffering confront me. I go about blackened, but not by the sun. I stand up in assembly and cry for help. I have become a brother of jackals, a companion of owls. My skin grows black and peels, and my body burns with fever. My lyre is turned, tuned to mourning, and my pipe to the sound of wailing. God knows the contents of our heart before a word is spoken. He knew what Job was going through. He knew what Job was going to say. He knew what Job was thinking. In Job's distress, we know God is working. We know the outcome to Job's story. It's been going on for a long time, but we know the outcome. We know it will be a good outcome. This also should be an encouragement that God is continually working in our lives also. God knows the outcome of our struggles also. So have faith in God. Be confident in God. Be comforted knowing that God has our back. Vent before God. Go to him. Cry out to him. But not venting like on a moment to notice that something's going wrong in your life. That's not actually venting to God. Vent to God in prayer. A time that you set apart to vent to him. A time to question him. A God to seek his voice. To find what plan God has for you. Sometimes God reveals his plan sooner than later, but cry out to God. He wants to hear from us. When we cry out to God, he's not like, oh, it's you again. What do you want this time? He's like, oh, it's my son. It's my daughter. What can I do for you? What can I help you with? I'm here for you. God wants to hear from us. God loves us. Take time to spend God with God. Even with all of Job's despair, he still addressed God continually, and he didn't curse God. He knew, he believed in his heart that he was a righteous man, but he also knew that God was a God of love, and he had all his faith and trust in God. Cling to God. Depend on God. God can handle our complaints. Nothing that we bring before God is too much for God. He can handle anything that we bring to him. He is thankful that we have communication with him. He wants to hear from us. He never tires of hearing from us. God is on call 24-7. We can reach out to God 24-7. Even though we set, ta set time apart to speak to God, we can speak to him anytime all day long but be careful we don't want to vent in anger 
vent in frustration. You know what that's like. We don't want to be cussing to God. But go to him continually. You, 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 we should have a appointed time that we spend with God. But we don't have to have. We can come to God anytime. We can come to God 24-7 just like he is available and waiting to hear from us 24-7. God is anxious to comfort us. He is anxious to revive us, restore us, renew us. God loves us. He doesn't want to see us suffering. But we know that sometimes our suffering is God trying to get our attention. Sometimes our suffering is because God wants to show us something. He wants us to come to him. Maybe he's having us suffer because we haven't talked to him for a while. And it's his way of saying, come back to me. I want to comfort you. I want to hear from you. And remember, we've talked about this many times. When you comfort others, listen. Don't be judging others. You know the scripture that says, take the plank out of your own eye before you try to remove the dust in someone else's eye. Our sins are possibly greater than any other's sins. So just be careful. We don't want to judge people. We all are sinners. We all need to repent continually. And we all need to share Jesus. We all need to comfort others. Be a comfort to others. Be a blessing to others. And those blessings come right back at you. Hold on to God however you can and always encourage others to do the same. Praise God with others. Thank God with others. Thanksgiving is coming. Be thankful. Share your thankfulness with your family members, with your friends. Talk to your friends and your family members about why you are so thankful for knowing God why are you are so thankful for the privilege to be being called God's child? Talk to your friends, share your testimony, be an encourager. As we are encouragers, we also are encouraged and we also are reminded of who our God is. We are reminded who Jesus is and what Jesus did for us on the cross. And we are reminded that the Holy Spirit is working through our hearts, encouraging us, preparing us. Pray for wisdom. Pray for wisdom continually with your words and your actions. Let's pray. Father God, we pray that each and every one of us comes to you 24-7, continually, that we come to you with love, that we come to you with our questions, that we come to you with our venting, because we know you love us and we know that you have the answer and you have the power to all of our frustrations. Only you, Father God, hold that power. Only you know what we are going through and how we are going to get through it, how you are going to raise us up. We love you, Father God, and we pray all of this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you, everyone. Have a week filled with blessings. Enjoy your Thanksgiving with your family, with your friends. Share your thankfulness with everyone during this Thanksgiving season. Bye-bye.